There's a ball behind you. There, 50 points. So for my first maker video, I'm going to try to make a ski ball machine and I'm going to try to use the Makey Makey to actually have it keep score itself. So here's what I've got so far. I'm trying to make a cardboard arcade game here. So super simple design. I just put some rails on it so the balls won't roll off. Underneath, just cut out some pieces and cut them at an angle so that we get a bit of a ramp. And then just put these on here for extra support. And one thing to notice is I left a little space under here because I'd like to create another layer that's sloped back towards the player so the balls can actually roll back on their own. So I thought I'd take a shot at this project because uh, this school year we did a paper or a cardboard arcade and some students tried ski ball and they were able to get the ski ball working but they had trouble with the getting the makey makey to keep score for them. So we're going to give it a shot. So I've got this jump here connected on and I'm going to start thinking about my target. And I think I'm just going to use a big sheet of cardboard. And just by chance I happen to have these little edges here. So I think what I'm going to try is just set them on there, connect that, and then see how it works. So what I'm going to do now though is do some testing, take some shots and see if I can actually hit all the different areas on here. Test and make So here's how why we test. So I was taking some practice shots and then just realized easiest way for me to get the ball back if they miss the target would be have a bigger gap here so the ball can fall through. So my original idea of sitting the target on these little wedges isn't going to work. So we'll have to come up with something else. Here's where we are with uh, ski ball. So we've got pretty much the body built and the target's up there. There's nowhere for the balls to go except at the bottom right now. Oh, that's not a good shot. So in testing, it works pretty well. So I think my next step tomorrow, I'm going to try and think of how to hook up the makey makey and take care of the scoring. And then after that, I'll worry about getting the ball to come back. So we got our first ring installed here. And I just went with Bristol board and did a lot of hot glue around the edge. We're going to try a shot. I've got a plastic ball and I've covered it with aluminum foil so that it'll be conductive. And the idea is that it'll be the thing that completes the connection on the makey makey. And then we can use that to keep the score. I'm going to try a shot though. And so not a very good shot. We, if, we, if the ball goes under, we, I crawl under to get it. <laughs> oh. Daddy got a shot in the um, circle. So now the ball's stopped right here, so this tells me I can cut my circle out there, and the ball will drop through there. And i got to figure out how I'm going to get this thing to, connect, to make my connection. Okay, so we're going to start building the code for the Makey Makey so we can keep track of the score in the ski ball game. So we're going to do when the green flag is clicked. We need it to keep checking forever to see if there's any points scored. So inside of forever loop, we're going to do an if then block. And we're gonna do if key, we'll do space pressed. So we'll hook the space button on the makey makey up to our game. So if the key spa space is pressed, then, and we want to keep scores, we'll make a variable 
and we can call it points or score or whatever you want. Um, you can make a cloud variable to keep a high score. Click OK. So if the key space is pressed, then actually before let's so when the green flag's pressed, we'll set the points to zero. So we start at zero every time. And if the key space is pressed, we'll change points by one. And so that it doesn't just keep racking up points continuously, we'll put a wait block in here. And we'll wait for, I don't know, three seconds. So if someone scores, it'll change the points by one, wait three seconds, and then start all over. So instead of changing by one, I might make my center circle 50 points. So when we were trying to make ski ball at school, when some of my students were trying to do it, some of the biggest problem they were having when they were trying to get the makey makey to keep score was the ball was just moving through their gate too quickly and the makey makey wasn't really registering the points. So what I've done is design this. So this is going to be mounted underneath my ski ball game. And the idea is it'll fall through the hole through this cup. The cup's meant so that it can kind of control the ball so it falls in the exact same spot every time. And it'll fall, then roll down this plank. And I've got two pieces of tin foil, so one there and one here. And when the ball, which is covered in tin foil, rolls down our little plank here, it's connecting the circuit, it's connecting these two pieces of tin foil so that the makey makey keeps score. And when I mount this on, I'm gonna have a slight, slight angle because I want this to roll down slowly so that I got lots of time to make sure that that makey makey actually connects and keeps the points. Okay, so we're going to test this thing out with the Makey Makey now. So, <clears throat> we've got our USB cable. We're just going to plug this into the Makey Makey and then into my computer. Uh, so this small USB goes in the top. And then I've got just a USB cord that can go in the USB port. And all the lights are going to start flashing let you know it's powered up. So then right here this says space. So in our code we said when the space bar was pressed it was going to add 50 points. So we're going to hook the space up. So I'm just using some alligator clips. And I'm going to hook the other ones up to the tin foil on my little collector device here. And then Hook another alligator clip up to the earth, which is any of these ones along the bottom, and then the earth <coughs> goes along there. So now, if I drop the ball down, so there's my ball. So the idea is if I drop the ball down, it's going to hit both pieces of tin foil, connect these two alligator clips, complete the circuit, which will be like pressing the space bar, and add some points in our scratch game. So if it's working, we should see a little green light above here light up. So if we test it out, and you hear that button, that's because the space was being pressed. So that was working. So now we've got to hook it up and actually try it with the game when the ball's a little more out of control. Okay, so now here's the big test. So everything's hooked up. Um, got the makey makey hooked up. I added to the code and said that if the space bar was pressed. It was also going to play a sound so that you guys can see if it's actually working. So if I press the green flag on the code now, if I get the ball in the middle ring, should play a sound and add 50 points. <laughs> Success, it's working.
So now I just got to think about some other things to make this game more playable. Ski balls all working, points are working. I added this little bit here so that when the space key is pressed, it plays this sound. So you know you scored and it'll add 50 points. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set a 30 second time limit, I think, and then the game's going to stop. So we're going to go when the green flag is clicked, see if I remember how to do this. Control. We're going to repeat. So we want 30 seconds, so we're going to do a repeat 30 times. Wait one second, and I need a new variable for the time. So make a variable, and we're going to call this variable time. And wait a second, then change time by negative 1. And we're going to start at 30. So when the green flag is clicked, set time to 30. And repeat 30 times. Wait a second, change time by negative 1. So I'm just going to press the green flag and see what happens here. 30, 29. It's counting down. If I press the space button, you get 50 points and it cheers. So that seems to be working. So now after it's repeated 30 times, I'm going to stop all. And that means the game will be over. You won't be able to do anything else until you hit the green flag again. But let's add a little sound so the player knows they're done. So if we go into sounds, let's find something short. <coughs> Maybe this bell toy. <laughs> We're going to add that bell toll. Sounds, play sound, bell toll until done. So you'll get a little more than 30 seconds because you'll also get the time that it takes for the bell sound to ring. But that's all right. So let's hook this up and give it a try. Okay, so ski ball is pretty much ready for testing. I ran out of energy. So show you what I did. I only ended up making one scoring area. So my contraption with the cup and the little ramp, that's right there. Um, if I was more ambitious, I'd make more scoring areas. Probably add a couple up here for higher scores. I don't know if you can see down there, there's the wires for the makey makey. I managed to get the ball to come back to the player and it's nothing fancy. It's an engineering nightmare under here. Um, what I did <clears throat> was I just ended up putting a little ramp here on a banker's box. And so now the ball will hit on that ramp and roll down. So let's okay. give it a try. Everything's ready. We're going to try out this ski ball game, see if it's actually playable. So I'm going to hit the green flag. As soon as I do that, I've got 30 seconds to score as many points as I can. Here we go. So there you go, 150 points. One thing I would want to fix is that three second wait that I put on after you score points is too long because there's a couple times I ended up getting it in and it didn't register because the three seconds wasn't up yet. But other than that, successful.